Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Chotwani once again from learn-machine.com. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that how we can run your automated test in mobile web browser. In the previous lectures of Test Trigger, we have seen how you can run your test cases in desktop browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Safari, and so on, right? But in this video, we'll talk about how to run on mobile web browsers. Now, why do we need it? Because this is part of the requirement. Many companies, they want to run their test or they want to make sure their application is working with the different browsers on the mobile, okay? If you are using iOS, then it could be Safari. If you're using Android, then Chrome and other browsers. Now, how we can make sure that our test is working fine on the mobile devices as well? This is what exactly we are going to do. So in the previous one, we have seen that how we can run on Mac devices, Windows and Linux, right? Now let's talk about how to run on the mobile. Now, before we start, I want to show you the application that we want to automate. Now, again, it's totally up to you, right? Which application you want to automate, it's exactly same. So if you talk about this orange HRM, right? So if I show you this, if you open uh, in this manner, right? It's a complete desktop version, but it's a responsive web application. When I say responsive, the moment I change the resolution, okay? You can see it's changing its UI, it's changing its layout. So even if I change like this, you will get a scroll bar and you can do that, right? So if I scroll like this, it's responsive, so it's changing its layout. There are few applications there which are not responsive. In that case, you will not be able to see this kind of uh, changing layout. This is one way which I did manually, right? But if you want to check how it will display in different devices, in Chrome browser, we have a very interesting feature. If you click on inspect and if you open this, you can see this option, right? This is toggle device toolbar. The moment you open this, it will show you, you can select, okay, which kind of device you want to see. Let's say I want to see how this application will look like in maybe iPhone SE. This is how the layout will be, okay? What if I want to change to iPhone 12 Pro, okay, this is how it will look like. What about iPad Air? This is how it will look in iPad Air. And if you want to check in Android devices, this is the list of options we have, okay? So let's say S8 Plus. Now, one thing that you will notice, it is changing the width and height, okay? If some devices are not listed, if you want to check, you can change it. Let's say I want to change it to, okay, uh, edit. If you want to add a custom device, you can see there's a list of custom devices that you can add. Right now it's not added. Maybe I will add Note 3, Note 2, S3, S8, S9 Plus, okay? And now come back here. You can see all these three has been added, okay? Apart from that, if you want to add any custom device, you can add the name here. Let's say I want to write iPhone 13, and I can change it, okay, let's keep it 450. I'm giving some random width. I'm not sure about the width and height in iPhone 13. I'm giving a random numbers. Maybe this is 800. Apply, and it should be added. Can you see this, iPhone 13? And this is how it will look like. So basically you can change this if something is not listed. Now this is all local, but how it will happen in test trigger. So first of all, let me close this and let me come back. Let me bring this to the original state yeah and i will keep it here in this tab now we will be creating a new test suite for this so i will write this as mobile web browser now till now we have selected desktop web testing now i will say mobile web testing okay we want to test the web application in mobile devices click on it now it will ask you which URL you want to test. Okay, in our case, it's orange HRM. Guys, take any application that you want to automate. I'm just taking one example. Now we don't have obviously username password. Okay, if you want, you can do that. But I will be writing test case for this. Now this is the main part guys, provider. Right now I'm using test trigger as a provider. It means whatever devices I will be using, it is coming from test trigger side. Okay, so test trigger is maintaining all these devices and the moment you run this test cases, it will run on the test trigger infrastructure. And if you want to select browser stack, obviously you need to provide a couple of details, browser stack, source lab, lambda test, whatever provider you want to use. 
if you need video i will be coming with this video soon where instead of using test trigger as a provider you can use any provider and you can run your test in their environment okay as of now the top three okay uh, browser stack lambda test source lab and copy is here we'll go with test trigger now which os android and ios both are supported so let me just select android and if you talk about devices these are the devices right now they're maintaining which is nexus pixel access excel uh, nexus s galaxy s20 and so on maybe let's say i want to go with samsung galaxy s20 and these are the android versions they have maintained right android 8 11 11 here 11 64 bit let me go with android uh, 11 galaxy s20 now in chrome uh, sorry in android they're maintaining one browser called chrome this is the default one right and i don't want to generate uh, based on the auto discovery so i will keep it zero in case if you have advanced settings you can see list of advanced settings right now we don't need it i just want to write my test cases which should run on android 11 devices s20 browser would be chrome but in case if you want to go with ios you can see right now they just have one device iphone xr again if you want to run on the different devices and browsers you have this option where you can choose which uh, provider you want and you can give any browser and device config uh, combinations and this is our next video so as of now we will be using android and let me use s20 chrome browser this is zero let me create a test suite now this suite is ready as you can see no test created for this suite obviously we have not created any test cases as of now we just created a suite and with the configuration now let's create a new custom test case and here you can write your test case and if you're completely new to test trigger then i would highly recommend check out my series where we discussed how to write the basic custom steps how to write the test cases in test trigger how to execute on the different browsers we also discussed about reusable rules test data and so on so a couple of things has been already discussed now if you are new to this i would highly recommend you to do, uh, to check the documentation it's very straightforward and very easy so they have given all the uh, things that you can use basic commands like how to perform you know click how to perform type how to perform uh, you know keyboard events how to do copy paste how to check whether things are appearing on the page or not and i will show you that as well so if you see this for type we can just go and say type and if you want to try this enter you can go ahead and use enter so let me use this so as you can see they have given uh, some sample as well let me write enter see i need to enter username and password so this is my username this is my password but where exactly i need to enter i can give this label okay very straightforward how we do manual testing right how we see as a on a screen in exactly same way you need to use you no need to go with id name class name xpath css selectors just give the field name so this is exactly what i will do i will say type admin make sure you give this in double quotes in and if you want to see the documentation part this is the documentation into so into where it should be inside username that's all it will go ahead and type admin into username same thing i will do for password enter admin one two three this is the password in your case if it is different please go ahead and use a different password now this is the password field so i will just go ahead and type password now i need to perform click and i want to click on login very straightforward just say click and say login that's all let's try running this the moment i say add and run you can see your test has been executed it's getting executed and estimated time so it is in the queue right now if you click on it it will show you okay what is the current status now when you work with mobile devices obviously it takes time because it has to set up the simulator or the real devices then it will start executing your test right so you can expect some delay when you work with mobile devices because of the configuration part 
you will see all the steps here or if you just open this execution you can see first of all the steps that we have written and can you see it has masked our password I clicked on login and you can see all the details here that the platform that we're using is test trigger we are using Android 11 and we are using Chrome let's wait for the execution and then we can verify so in the meanwhile let me talk about few things right now whatever test we have written okay if uh, I show you my test case it's very straightforward that enter this enter this click on this but where is the verification point we have not added the verification that if login is done successfully make sure this is appearing maybe the logout button is present or the admin tab is present or the add button is present because until you don't add the validation point it will not make any sense see even if the this login is getting failed your test case will show pass so it is important for us to add the validation point okay now you can see the test is getting executed we are able to see all the screenshots perfect and once it is done you will get the status as pass and you can see this is the first screenshot if you scroll down you will see another screenshot so it has entered admin it has entered password and it clicked on login you can see the square box it means it is highlighting and this is the screen after login so it's showing us but we have not added any verification point so let's do that so click on edit test case now I need to verify so I will show you the moment I log into this application now one thing that you have to notice when you log in on the browser device okay when you say when I say browser locally on my desktop this is how the UI is looking I can see on the different section admin PIM leave I can see add button reset search and I can get this option but the moment you open this in mobile it will be coming like this right so you have to put validation according to this okay you have to put validation like it should have the add button or the PIM or maybe employee list or this icon and maybe this logout so put the validation point according to how browser will display on the mobile devices right why I'm showing you this because you might put assertion that this admin should be displayed right but in device it is looking in a total different way so if I show you again I will be adding one validation point that after login I should be able to get the add button now coming back to our test case come here now again how to put validation don't worry come back to this validation section and we can see the check that element have this color input have this value and so on but let me show you that if you want to check the page contains this or not or page contains this button so for UI validation for each and everything they have given example that's a very beautiful part so if I check this option okay this is one way to check check that search contains this 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 and if I show you one easy way I can see this one contains does not contain so let's open this this is also same I want to see the page level validation so that is what exactly I'm looking for so maybe I will check if the page contains yeah this one check that page contains sign in this is what I need so I will copy this and I will say check that page contains I will check for add button okay add if contains add it means we are able to log in now I'm not adding the logout step that I will give you as part of your assignment what you need to do just follow these four steps you will be able to log in after that you have to click on this okay so in your device it would look something like this you have to click on this icon and you have to click on logout and after logout you also have to check the login should be present so basically you have to add three custom steps click on the icon click on the logout and verify this login is coming or not 
okay that is part of your assignment so let me run this and see whether we are able to verify this add button is present or not let me click on update and restart it says test case has been updated and it is in a queue for retesting so let's wait if you want to see the execution you can click here and you can see the live execution here as well same thing it will show you that we are using test trigger provider android 11 chrome and within few seconds your test will be ready okay let's wait now on the fly if you want to uh, add something you can change these names okay if you want to attach some labels you can attach the labels as well we have seen labels in the previous videos so in case we're new to this channel and the series i would recommend you to watch the complete series okay uh just a second let me refresh and see how many steps has been executed it's still executing no problem for mobile it's sometimes slow as i mentioned it takes time to set up the browsers on the device first it has to set up the device then the browsers it takes time and here we go so it has executed and it is able to verify that add button is present or not so can you see this green icon so it has highlighted that whatever validation point we have added it is able to perform successfully so this is all from my side so i hope you got the overall picture so let me quickly summarize using test trigger you can run your test cases on different browsers and different platforms so whether you have windows mac linux uh, you can execute all the test cases that we have seen earlier. In this video, we discussed how you can run your test cases in mobile browser in Android and in iOS. So this example, which I showed you for Android, for iOS also, you just need to select the value from the dropdown and you can continue. One thing that I want to again highlight, first check whether your application is mobile responsive or not, right? Because the if your application is responsive, then it will change the layout. So you need to write your test cases accordingly. So that's all from my side. So please give it a try. Check out the different videos also for test trigger. So that's all from my side and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.